Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy and today we're going to learn about rotating and scaling objects. And we're going to use the rotate and scale tools that are over here in the tools panel. And they're pretty much like, it's pretty much like using the selection tool and doing it, but you have a little more control when you use these uh, tools. So you can change an object's orientation by rotating it and you can change its size by scaling it. And you can you don't have to do these in certain increments or anything like that. So go ahead, take the selection tool and select the object that you want to work with. And you can take the rotate tool and just rotate in a circular motion and then you'll start getting uh, different rotations going on here. So if I just rotate, I can rotate it different ways. It's pretty easy. Get it back to where it was. And that's pretty much it with the rotate tool. If you hold down shift, you can do it in 45 degree increments. You can rotate in. All right, let's go to the scale tool. There's a couple more options with the scale tool. If you drag away from the object, it's going to scale up. Sometimes it goes nuts. All right. And then if you scale towards, it's going to make it smaller. And if it's, uh, as you can see on my guides over here, it says uniform on. And when it says uniform, it's going to scale uniformly. Or if I get it so it says horizontal, it's going to scale horizontally. So you can check those out to make sure you know what you're, or you can see what you're doing. You can scale and flip across the entire object. Let's see if I can get it so it does it correctly. Sometimes it, it's not the easiest to do. As you can see, it's flipping now. You can see I'm flipping it by looking at the blue. It's flipping. And I actually flipped the object over there. Can't tell because of... The, sh the shape is uniform here, so you can see by the blue outline that it was flipping. And uh, if you hold down shift and you drag, you're going to scale proportionally. And um, let's, go, let's go on to the next set of things. So the next set of things I want to talk about are reflecting and shearing. And those are also underneath these tools. So if I hold down this, hold down left click, it'll get me to the reflect tool. And that's, and that's O is the hotkey. And then for the scale tool, shear is underneath it. And that does not have a hotkey. So reflecting is pretty much mirroring an object. It creates a mirror image of the object. And the shear tool creates a slanted image of the object. So let's go ahead and check those out. So make sure you have your object selected. You'll see the bounding box when it's selected. And go ahead and select the Reflect tool. And you click to uh, establish a reference point. And I'll just click here. And you can see the reference point moved. I could click and start flipping, mirroring it along that reference point. If I click again, you, you know that you're, oops, my bad. You know that you're changing the reference point when you have a crosshairs as your cursor. So here's the reference point. If I just click here in the middle, now if I go to drag, since the mirror is right in the center, all I'm going to be able to do is kind of like rotate. But if I put it towards like the end here, I can mirror across that. And it mirrors like that. So it depends on where you put your reference point. Now for the shear tool, if you select that, you just drag away from the object. And it's going to start shearing for you. And that's easy enough. Put our reference point back there. Start clicking. in the When it's in the middle, it's easier to shear. And there you go. So those are the rotating, scaling, reflecting, and shearing. And if you need to, 
you can always go up into the transform panel to um, put in exact measurements. So your transforms are over here on the X and Y values. Your scaling is over here. Your rotations are here. And then your shears are here. And you can type in any value that you want. So that's it for how to use those tools. And if you like those tools, get good at them and use them. If you don't like them, go ahead and use the free transform tool, which is right here. And there's a tutorial about that. It's the one right before this one. And also the selection tool allows you to do some of these things. You can't shear with the selection tool, but you can rotate, you can scale, and you can reflect using the selection tool. And be sure to check out the other tutorials on that. So thanks a lot, everybody. Thumbs up the video if you had a good time and you learned something. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later.